Hello, my name is Tyler Ballou. I'm an engineer here with Yokogawa, and today I'll be showing you how to configure an additional sensor to the Flexa 402 using the BA-11. First off, as you can see here, we have the bus in, and this is gonna be wired into the top module right here, as well as having J1 and J2 sensors connected with J1 being sensor one and J2 being sensor two. All right, so now we're gonna show how to use the Flexa 402's HMI to set up for a second sensor through the BA-11. First off, you can see we have tab one and tab two here. These are the first number in the tabs I'll show you in a second. And then as well as we have quadrant one, two, three, and four. And these will correspond when you go to menu, setting, display setting. As I showed you before, we have quadrant one, two, three, and four as the second number. And then the first number is going to be the tab that you're under. So now we're gonna to go to display one, three. And here we're gonna set our process parameter to be sensor one, module one, number two. With the BA-11, it will always be module one, and then one through four will be how many are connected to the BA-11. So we're gonna do sensor one, two here. We'll do pH for now, hit save, and then go home. And now we're gonna plug in the sensor. All right, and here we have the FU-20 attached to our SA-11, which we're now plugging in to the BA-11 sensor box. So here, what we're gonna expect is for these two windows to both show dashed lines and an error, as you can see. And this is going to be because both of these sensors currently are set to the same Modbus address, which is right now one. In order to set the Modbus address to different Modbus addresses, you will connect to it using the free calibration tool. Once you have your IB100 connected to your laptop, you'll open the calibration management tool. From here, you'll go to setting and make sure you have your COM port and address correctly set. In this case, it's COM port six, address one. Then you'll click save at the bottom. And then now you'll hit the start button to go through. Once the calibration tool has picked up your sensor, you'll go to the bottom right and click action. And then from here, you'll go to sensor setting. Click OK through any dialog boxes. And then drop down the pH sensor setting and from there, go to configure sensor. And here is where you will change your Modbus address from one to whatever you would like. In this case, we are using Modbus address two and make sure to click download to device. Click OK through the dialog box, close it out, and you are good to go. All right, now that we have set our Modbus address to two for the SA-11, we will now plug the sensor back in. You'll notice even if you wait for a little while, you will still get four dashes, and this is because you need to go through and change a couple more settings in order to read in the sensor correctly. So first, we're gonna to go to menu, setting, advanced settings, Modbus, and then go to the junction box, sensor two. You're gonna delete 248 and put in the Modbus address of your sensor. In this case, it's two. And then save and go home. So now you'll wait for a little bit and see if your sensor starts reading and comes online. And if it does not, there's one more opportunity to search the channel. And to do that, you'll go through menu, others, search Modbus, first sensor module, and hit start. Yes. Yes. It'll take a little bit to finish, but once it's done, hit OK and then go back to your home screen and you should see your sensor reading in in the quadrant that you have set. Hope this was helpful and have a good day.